Hi guys, so I just finished watching Rambo First Blood. Uh, so obviously, then the last blood, uh, 2008 one, no blood, there's no, no, nothing on it but Rambo. Uh, and now I watched First Blood. Um, so, this is an hour and 33 minute long film, uh, come out in 1982, obviously, starring Sylvester Stallone. It had a $40 million budget and actually got back $125 million, uh, which is actually a massive, massive profit. All right, so, Watching this, um, I, I realised I'd never actually seen this before, and I very much thought I did. Uh, so yeah, it was a really interesting watch because uh, I was like, because I had in my head it'd be very warry because uh, you know you, we get to see John Rambo being John Rambo. I, I was like, yeah, it's going to be all his epic nurses stuff, but no, it's actually it was after the war. It's after his time in Vietnam. Um, He's now a veteran, he's now finished, and he's been put back into society, and yeah, so society doesn't mix well with John Rambo. So he's gone to look for his friend, uh, who's actually died of a cancer, well, it's caused by this orange powder or gas, and uh, so now he's like, not got, he's kind of like lost now, because that was his goal, was to find his friend, uh, and then he's like, well, I don't know what to do, and so he starts like, wandering off through a town, and basically this really epitomises American police, uh, you know, it was obviously worse back then, it's still really bad with them now, uh, but yeah, so this policeman instantly has a thing against war veterans and stuff like that, it's instantly a massive dickhead to, to Rambo, um, and it all just escalates from there, you know, uh, over time he starts like, well, real quick you really empathize with with Rambo you, you're so like wow you know this guy you know he's just not he's quite innocent but he's just put in a situation where he's in a fight or flight zones and of things that they're doing the cops are doing to him sort of trigger all his sort of flashbacks and stuff that happened when he was captured and shit so he he does the fight or flight and he chooses to fight uh fucking beats up all the cops runs away you know and then it all just escalates from there cop dies they then starting to blame him for it even though it was the cop's fault he you know fell out of a helicopter kind of thing uh but yeah it's quite a sad little story to like to start off his thing with you're like Wow, fucking hell. You know, this guy, Jen, hasn't done anything wrong to start with. And now he's really put in this situation, which made him look real bad. Uh, you know, he had a chance to, like, kill all the cops, but he didn't because, you know, they're still cops and he's still got moral, his morals uh, and stuff. So he doesn't, you know, he tells them, he even gives them a warning. He's like, just let it go. He has the main bell end cop by the, the throat. He's like, just let it go, let it go. You know, he's he's doing the right thing and sort of thing. And, the cop doesn't let it go and it just goes mad. So yeah, it's it's really like done well. The character development in this is actually pretty good because like you're slowly learning about him, and then the colonel comes and really explains about who John Rambo is. He is this elite guy. He's the ultimate survivor, ultimate guerrilla warfare dude. You know this guy's job was to go in, kill, and go sort of thing. So you're like learn. Wow. Okay. So Rambo isn't just a you know, Green Beret or whatever, he is the top fucking dog at all this badass stuff sort of thing. So this is why he is like the predator basically in the in the jungle. Uh, and, you know, the cops are like getting warned to like stay away. Uh, you know, so we get some great character development on on Rambo and we get to empathise a lot with him. Uh, the music's done really well for it. You know, it's a very like, very good watch of just being able to like enjoy seeing how he's like trying to survive his best without, you know, fucking everyone up. Uh, but, you know, he's still obviously getting manhunted. Um, he does some crazy stuff, blowing up some fuel stations and destroying, like, gun shops and stuff. You know, he does a lot of damage to the town, destroying all the power, you know, but he's in, like, a survivor mode. He's just like, you know, this is my little war zone. I've got to do what I've got to do, even though it causes a lot more damage uh, to property uh, than he needed to. Um, but all in all, this is like a very, very like good film. I didn't expect it to start getting as emotional as it did when he's like near the end and having his like sort of breakdown to the colonel and so sort of like you know just saying you know how it was for him and now he's put back here in society. 
you know, he's been driving all these tanks and gunships and in control of millions of dollars of equipment. And now he's thrown back his society. He can't even hold down a job at a car wash. And he starts obviously tearing up and that. It, it, get, it does get a bit emotional and stuff. But, you know, it's it's a lot that happened for these soldiers back there. A lot of, like, their own madness for ages. And then, like, cool, over it right back in to normal, normal life. They're like, what the fuck's going on? Uh, how do I adjust? So... It is, a, it is a good film. Uh, it's got a lot of like interesting like looks at the PTSD and how to how obviously some people are treated by the cops and uh, how things are easily twisted. Even if the the cops are wrong, because they've got the power, they'll twist it to make the other person look like they're in the wrong, uh, which is still commonplace. Fucking many places, not just America, but many countries are like that. Uh, but yeah, death, strong watch. I, I, I do recommend 100%. But yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you've not seen it for ages, just rewatch it. It's just, yeah, it's a good little story. But anyway, see you guys later. Bye bye.